Good afternoon everyone, myself Amena Rangwala. Today I am going to present about why comparative Indian literature by Shishir Kumar Das. So first what is comparative literature? Comparative literature is interconnected with each other. Like uh, time period, language, genes and boundaries. It provides a geographical, chronicle and a broader perspective on literary and cultural achievement of humankind. And it is possible from within the single literature alone and comparative literature provides the reader a serious sustained understanding of culture beyond their own and helps to become a better global citizen. Uh, citizen. So comparative literature is a very broader concept. One can co connect other co countries literature or other cult cultural literatures within the one in comparative literature. So these are the key arguments uh, taken from the article. So next is, Das stated that the Indian literature of literary study is still fragmented into the sm smaller linguistic units such as we know the reason is multilinguality and multireligious or multicultural nation where are extremely limited. In India, we have multiculture. Multiculture means there are very many different types of culture. There are very different uh, types of languages and there are many uh, religious. For translation, first we need uh, to translate the language text into English and then have to compare both the texts. Uh, but uh, Aurobindo has failed in forming the framework to study the Indian literature. To study Indian literature by linking with comparative literature still needed to indicate the proper framework within which Indian literature, literature can be studied. Das tries to tell that to, uh, uh, to study the uh, Indian comparative literature one has to study the framework means one has to go in the depth and investigate, investigate and then has to study the comparative literature. The, com uh, the term uh, comparative literature is not self-explanatory or not only to define the term, but is, it is defined to be the necessity of quantifier means uh, there is no not uh, a certain type of concept which is not limited. We have to investigate in deep what is there and how it began. Uh, 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 it it should not be limited to the areas, it should be wide. Uh, Das mark that we must try to find out exact nature of relation between comparative literature and Indian comparative literature and also try to see it as a express necessity, uh, necessity to study the uh, relation between comparative framework. Das tries to tell that uh, we have to see the comparative literature as well as to see the Indian comparative literature. He finds the difference between uh, these two. These are the goals uh, to visualize the total activities of man as a single un universe. To the main dilemma of comparison is to recall his idea of literature as a single universe or world, but it is uh, abilities to study in totality. But the das uh, points out the comparison between comparative literature and world literature that. Uh, uh, it should not be to the limited uh, areas. It uh, has to be ability to uh, investigate in the deeper way. Uh, then Goethe gave the uh, spoke about the Welsh literature in uh, 1827. Uh, he is the first man to speak about the world literature, uh, and he uh, said in the conversation with Eric Mann on 31st January 1827. Western comparisons have kept himself, uh, uh, so both uh, Rabindranath uh, Tagore and Gotha is uh, uh, Das is denying uh, the concept of Rabindranath Tagore and Gotha. Uh, uh, das, uh, das tells that the comparison is the method of investigation by Goth, uh, while Gotha says it's the body of valuable literary work. Uh, then the Western compa uh, uh, comparison kept himself res uh, restricted to Western literary 
and uh, the contact between west and east began uh, during the time uh, when they read the hebrew literature and then they came to know about the christian uh, literature and they uh, slowly and steadily started accepting that and the court of cordova in spain is a center for arabic literature and in 18th century they european discovered the sanskrit language which was the revolution for linguistic and friends just uh, admit that the, about the we, uh, western uh, criticism criticize the western criticism and uh, at last the result is that comparative liter literature is in the west began as comparative western literature and still it's even the same in today's time then ulrich west uh, westin expresses his hesitation to exchange the study of parallel phenomena pretending the uh, to uh, in this das drives uh, admits that the uh, ecocentricism ecocentricism means the view of historic or cultural non western society uh, which accepts the perspective of the uh, european and western perspective he tells that the charge again uh, eurocentricism against the western comparison is unfair and that is the choice of european literature and the main area of investigation has to be caused more by pelagmatism and then by assumption he tries to tell that one has to focus may, uh, on the main thing not on the assumption and not on only the speculation one has to go deep in it and then uh, has to search deeply about the things not and uh, only has to see the upper layer what is visible uh, then uh, ulrich westman expresses hesitation towards this and he says that the uh, academic uh, justification of excluding oriental literature from comparative literature comes from the necessity to, to avoid Uh, he uh, he tells to exclude that only speculation is not important but uh, he tells to uh, exclude that speculation is not important but one has to go in the depth and see so he's uh, trying to deny and then last but uh, but we have to compare our literature consists the study of in indian literature that must be as well as a, as a comparative literature and the, here are the, are the difference between comparative western literature and comparative indian literature comparative western literature means the study of different national languages while comparative indian literature is one nation or one national literature uh, written in uh, many languages comparative indian literature means we have many different types of languages like uh, assami marathi gujarati there are many types of languages so first the scholars have to translate the uh, different types of languages into english and then they have to compare thank you uh hello friends i divya sheta today i am dealing with the article why uh, comparative indian literature by cc kumar das so uh, uh, while uh, studying comparative indian literature the question uh, what uh, das is uh, raised that are indian english uh, uh, writing writings a part of indian literature or uh, what will criterion language or nationality so in uh, a comparative indian literature so what are the uh, criterion uh, as we know that uh, india is multilingual nation or a multicultural nation so uh, is that language or nationality can be put in the criterion of uh, studying of uh, studying comparative uh, indian literature so comparative uh, literature has to be both intralinguistic and interlinguistic so comparative in comparative uh, uh, literature we can we can study that uh, in uh, one uh, one language or uh, uh, multiple language also so for example british literature and american literature this both uh, litera uh, literature and culture has different culture but both uh, both uh, used uh, one language that is english while uh, uh, different national literature but uh, used one english uh, language uh, same as in india we used uh, bengali and hindi so uh, it it is uh, we can consider that uh, we, we can study that what bengali literature or hindi literature is there 
and one uh, language can be the medium of two literature so uh, same is the example of british literature and american literature so in both uh, english uh, language is the medium to present the different culture or different literature so in uh, 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 so uh, further uh, sisir kumar uh, uh, present that what in uh, comparative literature that uh, concern is that uh, the uh, in the nation or uh, the oneness of language uh, in uh, in the particular nation the, it is uh, uh, it is uh, the problem is there it, uh, the change of uh, change there is changes on political and linguistic scene so uh, the political and linguistic scene uh, are uh, continuously changed uh, throughout the time so it is uh, it is a, a problem a problematic thing so uh, uh, again uh, das states that the, the validity of comparative indian literature can be argued from two direction that one uh, one must have a terra firma so uh, in uh, in uh, indian literature we uh, the, there must have a solid ground or a plain ground to plant something a uh, new uh, culture and we uh, in india uh, gujarat uh, we can plant something Guj uh, gujarati uh, uh, gujarati culture in gujarati language or uh, uh, in maharashtra assami marathi so th there are uh, various kind of terra firma or uh, solid grounds are available in india that we can uh, study uh, we can study uh, uh, different culture through uh, through through in uh, through in, uh, india so it is uh, in it is literature born of language and yet it goes beyond language so uh, that's again state that one cannot uh, st uh, stay in the uh, particular language but uh, what the scholars or student of com uh, comparative literature uh, they they can go they must to go beyond language and uh, language is nourished by culture so uh, uh, la language uh, so in india um, Uh, obviously uh, the article is uh, state that uh, comparative indian literature so time and again uh, we discussed uh, uh, with the reference of Indi indian literature so uh, in india uh, various cultures various languages are uh, are there in india so a culture a language a language is uh, nourished by culture so it is the culture uh, 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 which uh, uh, which gives the uh, new uh, new kind of uh, meaning uh, meanings or uh, the environment in uh, which people live in different culture so through the language but the problem is that the language is different so uh, we need to uh, we need to see the one language that is uh, that is the, that translation is come so uh, its relation with that culture so uh, indian literature is very much uh, very much connected with, uh, with uh, culture uh, and uh, it is again that uh, uh, in uh, classical language uh, in the um, uh, writer uh, who wrote in uh, in their native uh, language or uh, uh, further uh, they they can also speak uh, in other language but so this switching between uh, one language to other language is also is also there uh, then uh, das give the uh, uh, example that in goa there is a uh, konkani language is there uh, while uh, portuguese language is also there so uh, uh, that is uh, das uh, state that uh, in uh, western literature or in uh, comparative literature one cannot stay or one cannot study with only one english literature alone but uh, we can also see that uh, we can also uh, uh, find out uh, in uh, depth with other language also so in goa uh, uh, while uh, uh, while uh, the native uh, while portuguese people want to uh, uh, learn uh, want, uh, want to uh, uh, want to relate with konkani uh, literature they they can uh, uh, relate uh, relate or uh, in uh, on the people uh, of portuguese uh, they have some kind of impact because in goa there is uh, also konkani language is there so whatever is uh, written in konkani language in goa for portuguese people they they can easily impact with or they can easily interact with uh, the, uh, that uh, 
spoke any language or the culture also because they stayed there so uh, this kind of different uh, language or multiple uh, languages is uh, here in, uh, in india so uh, people can easily interact with uh, culture uh, culture and uh, the environment uh, in which people live so amya dev uh, said um, uh, that comparison is right reason for us because one is that multilinguality so uh, indian scholars uh, are uh, here das uh, said that indian scholars are not uh, are not uh, uh, I, I, I do not uh, uh, keep the, uh, the, uh, this multilingual um, aspect uh, as uh, in, at the center, uh, but uh, uh, multilingualism is uh, also gives us to uh, uh, gives us to study the different situation of uh, culture. And uh, again, that we uh, uh, Amya Devi said that we are third world. So uh, third third world because there there is uh, some uh, certain kind of psychological restrictions are there so uh, while talking about um, multilingualism so there, there kind, uh, kind of something uh, uh, um, if we just general thing uh, talk about uh, uh, indian writing uh, uh, in uh, sorry comparative indian literature so there is something nationalist thing is there or patro uh, patroistic thing is there so uh, 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 question is that will not the study of uh, indian literature alone breed a kind of uh, uh, literary patriotism or critical pa uh, parochialism which must be avoided so it can uh, um, the question uh, is there so multilingualism is a fact of indian society so time in uh, there is uh, from the history uh, of uh, till the modern time we uh, we can say that, that multilingual uh, literary activity is uh, increased in india so uh, like uh, mani parwala is uh, kind of that mixture of uh, something uh, I, uh, that might be mixture of sanskrit or tamil uh, language is there and th uh, that mani parwala is uh, uh, something uh, new uh, it is new increasing uh, new increasing in malayam malayalam language uh, in which uh, there is Tamil language and Sanskrit language are used. So uh, this multilingualism, uh, we, uh, we can use uh, uh, two language to uh, to uh, to bond or to create the other new language like Malayalam language. So new language uh, and literature like Urdu. So uh, at the end of uh, the article, Das uh, states that our in, in our idea of comparative literature will emerge only when we take into account the historical situation in which we are placed. So uh, uh, again, that culture is uh, very much connected with uh, uh, comparative Indian uh, literature or language is also connected. So our journey is not from comparative literature to comparative Indian literature, but uh, that's a state uh, that comparative uh, Indian literature to put in comparative literature, not in comparative Western literature. So a comparative Western literature is coined uh, in a Western uh, uh, society, but uh, coined from Western society, but uh, the very core idea of comparative literature is uh, uh, that uh, whatever that Western or Indian there should be that uh, compare it only one uh, uh, literature there is only comparative literature so thank you